everybody, I'm Tony B. I'm Tony B. Hey everybody, I'm Tony B. This is Yogi Yokes. You're watching Comic TV. I'm going to tell you about the hottest comics that came out on free comic day. Really busy day. I got three local shops that I go to. I went to Titan Comics in Bradenton. That's a tattoo store and comic shop. Also went to Dark Side Comics and I went to Descent into Gaming's. Both of those stores are in uh, Sarasota. So uh, the biggest title of the day probably is this here Spider-Man. Uh, reason being is it's written by Donna Cates. Hottest artist going right now and Stegman is doing the art inside. So uh, I managed to snag four copies all told. So his copies are going for about eight bucks on the eBay. Carnage is back, baby. Woo, and it's not who you think it is. Better be up on that title, baby. Oh yeah, Yoga's getting excited too, right, baby? Oh yeah, that's right. That's Doctor Who. Not a big title for me, but looks like it's specking a little bit on the eBay. And I also wanted to whip this out because uh, a lot of the comic stores were putting these 25 cent year of the villain books out, which is cool because Capullo does the covers. There's a first appearance inside and there's some really nice art inside as well. Top notch artists and writers on that 25 cent book. And if you check out my uh, weekly video, you'll see that I got that one in 500 variant. Ooh, Jim Chung, baby. Chung, chung, chung. So uh, also, uh, Big thanks to Descent the Gaming. They put out these Symbiote Spider-Mans, these uh, Gwen Stacy art germ variants. Super dope. Another hot book for New Comic Day is Stranger Things. I've been seeing this thing selling for around five, six bucks on eBay. I snagged three of them. Another one that's getting a little heat is this uh, Lady Mechanica. That is a reprint, and uh, that is a Joe Benitez cover. Love me some Joe Benitez. You know, some of the comic book stores uh, put their stamp on that mark. Some of them didn't. I don't know where I got these books. Why you want to stamp my book? Anyway, happy to get them. These actually cost the comic store 50 cents a piece. I don't know if you knew that. So while the comic store is giving it to you, the uh, publishers are not giving it to the comic store. They actually got to pay for these books. So that's so why I went to uh, three different stores. I didn't grab a handful of books. And, you know, they're trying to watch out for that, which I really appreciate. Uh, this Bloodshot Fallen World is hot, but let me show you what's even hotter. This is freaking art inside. Look at that. Woo! So uh, that's when Free Comic Day does what it's supposed to, and that is making me a subscriber, because that art is sick. Super sick. Got three copies of that Bloodshot. Another super hot one is this uh, Vampirella. And uh, I'm not positive, but it looks like Jenny Friesen art. Uh, not the normal perspective she uses, but this Vampirella is super hot for about eight bucks on the eBay. I got only two copies. One of the hottest ones, probably rivaling that Spider-Man, is this Dark Age. And I was only able to get one copy, not sure why it's so hot. The art does not look that great. I don't believe that's an original title. I believe it's like a new story to that title, if I'm not mistaken. Punchline. Anxious to take a look at this. This uh, title's been getting a lot of buzz. They're around issue six or somewhere out thereabouts. And I have not been able to get any of these yet. I had uh, purchased number one on eBay and I'd like to shame the seller because I never got it. Didn't sell it. I guess I, guess I got it at too good a price. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm not sure if that's heating up or whatever, but it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so I knew what I had to do. We got Grumble and Goon, or Grumble and Goon, Grumble versus the freaking Goon. And uh, I like Grumble because it looks kind of like the Yogi Yogi's here. Yeah, he's a little devil. Oh, yeah. Uh, Robotech, the art inside this looks actually really nice. Enjoyed this when I was a kid, so I'd like to, wouldn't mind seeing a resurgence. Better pull this stack down before it topples. <clears throat> Remember this from when I was a little kid, and it's uh, catching a little little bit of heat on eBay. It's not like going for about five bucks. And uh, this is personal speculation. I was only able to get one of these, but this uh, Malika looks pretty nice inside, decent art. And uh, really like the art on this uh, H ignition. Let me turn to a nice, nice action shot for you to see or something. And uh, this might be one that I would consider checking out. <clears throat> and uh, just a few more. 
I got this uh, Little Mermaid, because it's a Little Mermaid. And there's several other books that I got, but I'm not gonna waste your time just showing you all the, uh, the chef, I'm trying to show you the best of the best. Uh, this Avengers I was able to get a few copies of, and uh, I think that's new material. I'm not positive, but I think so. And I am positive that this Savage Avengers is new material, canon. And uh, if you read that Savage Avengers, then you're wondering, where the hell is Elektra? She's in this one. So check it out. I was able to get three copies of that. Boom. Oh, excuse me. Four copies of that. No way. Five copies of that. I don't know how that happened. And uh, last but not, well, actually not last, but last of the regular size books, this uh, Spawn is a Francisco Matina cover, and it's a reprint of Spawn number one, going for about eight bucks on eBay. And uh, this Dear Justice League, I wasn't really looking at it too much because uh, it's like letters from children, but the art inside is actually really cute. So let me, let me find a good spot for you and uh, see if you can get your gazers on that. But, uh, I really like that. It's almost the Scotty Young. Even better than Scotty Young. I like it. And uh, lastly, this Catwoman. Uh, Under the Moon. It's like a Catwoman prequel. And uh, art is terrible inside. So then you got this you got this stepdad or something. He's uh, he's being a real douche. And he, he takes your cat and he puts it up on the uh, the, the sill of the, uh, the door. And uh, tells the cat, well, you got to leave the cat up there. So the cat, of course, falls off the door and, I don't know, it's maybe dead. Like, what is your cat made of glass? Like, well, can't, can't take a four foot fall. Anyways, whatever. But anyway, it's a prequel. So, might be some speckability on that if you can, if you can tolerate it. But, uh, hey, that's me and Yogi's new uh, free comic day. Uh, big shout out to all those comic stores. It's nice to see them all busy because uh, they're working hard for the money. Thanks for joining us. Please like, subscribe, comment.